I'm on the countertop. He had me by the neck. And he felt like he was on top of me. And I'm, lo I, I'm looking at him in his eyes. And I don't see him anymore. I don't see him anymore. It wasn't him. It was black. The Johnny vs. Amber defamation trial has been the talk of the year so far, and we already got to see all the evidence from Johnny Depp's point of view. But everyone's been curious about what Amber will have to say about the accusations. And the day for her to take the witness stand has finally come. It's now Amber's team's turn to make their case. And Amber has already started spilling all the details of the marriage. Even though all we hear about these days is how toxic Amber's and Johnny's marriage was, there was a time when the two of them were actually happy, even though it didn't last that long. Amber and Johnny apparently met in 2011 on the set of The Rum Diary, where the two of them starred. Their characters even had a kissing scene in the movie, which Johnny described as, that moment was, it felt like something that I shouldn't be feeling. They were both in other relationships at the time, that's why they couldn't pursue anything together. However, their relationship started around 2012, right after Johnny broke up with Vanessa Paradis, 14 years and two children later. Everyone thought they were a match made in heaven, and it didn't take long before Johnny proposed and we saw the gorgeous engagement ring on Amber's hand. One year later, the two of them tied the knot in a private ceremony in the Bahamas. In the beginning of my relationship with Ms. Hurd, there was from what I recall and what I remember, she was too good to be true. She was attentive, she was loving, she was smart, she was kind. She was funny and she was understanding. And we have many things in common. Certain blues music and, well, music, literature, things of that nature. So for that year or year and a half, it was amazing, Johnny said. Even though now it seems impossible, there was a time when the two of them were happy. And as Johnny described it, it also seemed too good to be true. Well, apparently it was. Johnny described her as attentive, loving, smart, kind, funny, and understanding. When he would come home after a very long day of work, he would have Amber waiting for him right there. She would sit him down, offer him a glass of wine, and take his shoes off. And Johnny had never experienced something like that in his life. He was getting all the love and attention he needed from her, and it was perfect. But this honeymoon phase didn't last long. Johnny was noticing weird behavior from Amber, and their marriage was slowly falling apart. To the point that after over a year, Amber filed for a restraining order and a divorce. Things must have gone pretty downhill during that year. With the divorce came a lot of accusations from both sides. There were claims of DV from both of them, and this was made official after Amber released an op-ed about her experience. She wrote, I kept quiet. I did not expect filing complaints to bring justice, and I didn't see myself as a victim. Then, two years ago, I became a public figure representing DV, and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out. Johnny's name wasn't mentioned anywhere, but everyone knew who Amber was referring to. And this article is the reason why the two of them are on trial now. Johnny sued Amber for $50 million for defamation because of how the article portrayed him and how it affected him and his career. And now that the trial has started, and the two of them have been getting into all the messy details of what really happened in their relationship, who was the culprit and who was the victim? This famous defamation trial began on April 11th, and there have been a lot of discoveries since then, and the whole world has been watching it. We've watched Johnny's team making the case and sharing all their evidence, but they have now rested their case. This means that it's Amber's turn to change the jury's mind before the trial is over. Well, before their turn even came, Amber tried to get the whole case dismissed, but since that didn't go her way, it's now her turn to take the stand and show us her side of the story. Even though everyone's been Team Johnny until now, will her testifying make them change their mind? Johnny Depp has been fighting all of Amber's claims, saying he was the victim between the two of them, and that it was Amber who was aggressive towards him, not the other way around. So whether it's lies or the truth, Amber is now the one accused accusing Johnny of treating her horribly. It's important to remember that above all else, Amber is an actress and this is the biggest role of her life. I st struggle to have the words. I struggle to find the words to describe how uh, painful this is. Um, this is horrible for me to sit here uh, for weeks and um, relive everything. Taking it from the top, Amber actually revealed the first time that Johnny had allegedly hit her back in 2012. It was after Amber had asked Johnny to explain the meaning behind a faded tattoo of his that read, Why no? It's assumed that the tattoo actually used to say Winona forever because of Johnny's relationship with Winona Ryder. And I asked him about the tattoo he has on his arm. And to me, it just looked like um, black marks. It, like, I didn't know, I didn't know what it said. It just looked like muddled, faded tattoo that was hard to read. 
And I said, what does it, what does it say? And he um, said, it says, why no? I didn't see that. I thought he was joking uh, because it didn't look like it said that at all. And I laughed. It was that simple. Um, I, I just laughed because I thought he was joking and slapped me across the face. And I laughed. I laugh because I, I didn't know what else to do. I thought this must be a joke. This must be a joke because I'm, I didn't know what was going on. I just stared at him kind of laughing still thinking that he was going to start laughing too, to tell me it was a joke, but he didn't. He said, you think it's so funny. You think it's funny, bitch. You think you're a funny bitch. At this point, Amber was confused and she didn't know how to react. And I'm all of a sudden realizing that the worst thing has just happened to me that could possibly happen to you. Before I know it, he starts crying. And you know, like I, I had never seen an adult man cry and he's crying. Uh, tears, I mean, just falling out of his eyes. He gets down on his knees and he grabs my hands and he's touching my hands and he's saying to me, I will never do that again. I'm so sorry, baby. I, I put the f***er away. I thought I killed it and it's it's done. I, 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 I thought I put the monster away and I've done it before. It's done. According to Amber, he broke the promise. Amber described Johnny as someone who was warm and kind, but who would fly into a rage whenever he was under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Johnny would explode and then just disappear after a fight. He'd come back clean and sober, and he'd be extra nice and extra apologetic, and we'd be good again, she added. But Johnny denied that this fight ever even took place in his own testimony, and said that the claim never made sense to him. Another incident happened in 2013. Johnny was allegedly physically harmful to Amber after he accused her of having an affair with a musician. These attacks didn't stop there. And now Amber is also accusing Johnny of S.A., despite that Johnny testified that he had never done that to a woman in his life. Amber described that the two of them were doing drugs with their friends in Joshua Tree, California, when the S.A. happened in the trailer that they were staying in. Johnny was looking for his cane when Amber testified that he accused her of hiding it and ripped her clothes off to do a cavity search inside of her. However, According to Amber, this wasn't even the worst case of S.A. she's had to endure from Johnny. They were in Australia together, Johnny had been drinking. Amber explained how Johnny would get aggressive whenever he drank. And that was exactly what happened. He was slamming her up against the walls and calling her names. The situation escalated and Johnny allegedly threw Amber on the table, whacked her face many times, ripped her nightgown off, and even threw bottles at her. This isn't even the worst part. Amber claims that after all of that, Johnny her with a vodka bottle inside her. She remembered she was bleeding and could only sleep after taking two sleeping pills. When she woke up the next morning, the walls of the house were smeared with dried blood and paint, and Johnny was missing a finger himself. On the other hand, Johnny testified that the finger was cut off by a vodka bottle Amber had thrown at him that night. At this point, no one knows who to believe. Amber Heard also told the court that she allegedly left Johnny's private island after they had a heated argument, which ended with Johnny threatening Amber to kill her. She had accompanied Johnny and his kids to a trip to the Bahamas, where Johnny was drinking and hiding alcohol in his coffee cups. He asked Lily Rose to leave. Lily Rose leaves, looks at me, leaves crying, and Johnny, in uh, I don't remember the words he used, but starts accusing me of kind of like telling on him and calling him um, uh, you know, a drunk in front of his kids. I hadn't, I hadn't done that. I was actually trying to protect Johnny. Uh, I wasn't, it didn't feel like my place at all to share that with, with his daughter or, or anyone. After that, she claims that he slammed her against the wall of a bedroom cabin and told her that he could kill her and that she was embarrassing him in front of his family. She felt hurt by his words, so she took Lily Rose with her and left the island in a helicopter. I'm holding Lily Rose in my and literally holding her under my arm while she's crying and we're lifting off. And I, I felt bad about leaving, even though that that, that had happened, I, I still felt 
awful. Apparently, Johnny wasn't doing all of this only when they were alone. And it was even worse for Amber when he hit her in front of people. Like when they were traveling with Johnny's assistants and personnel, and Johnny was interrogating Amber about some of her scenes with James Franco. He had been drinking before getting on the plane, so he got angry when she ignored his questions. He sits down in front of me at one point, and because I'm not answering him, I was looking out of the window, and he slaps my face. And his friend is in our proximity. And I, it didn't hurt me, it didn't hurt my face, it just felt embarrassed. Did he do that to me in front of people? It was the first time that anything like that had happened in front of somebody. And it was all because of his jealousy, which according to Amber ruined her career. He was against her filming any kissing or romantic scenes with other people and was mad at her for taking the part with James Franco. Amber has been sharing her history with DV and SA during her marriage with Johnny despite Johnny's claim of being innocent. She's also been taking it the extra mile by crying and struggling to speak on the stand. While there are people taking Amber's side, some people think it's just all an act for her. But we'll let the jury decide on that one. Until then, don't forget to watch this other video.